Today we are going to be preparing for who I'm just going to call Shin. Of course, we gotta break out the Ultra Instinct super uh, clairvoyance stuff because she's not officially released yet. So uh, we're, we're, yeah, we're just gonna have to guess. It should be noted, of course, that we're going to get a new area with this update, which has new monsters, new monster drops, stuff like that. Um, I think there's even some new bosses and whatever, so yeah. Most likely she'll need something from there, but I do think we can prepare a decent amount. Firstly, she is a cryo character, so let's head to the crafting table and make sure we have enough of that first of all. So we only need one of the smallest ones, which means we can make everything except one. And now since we have 161 of these, we definitely have enough. You only need nine of the tier twos, we're gonna call them. For the purples, we also need nine, but what we're just gonna do is doot, doot, doot. So we save at least nine here. We have 11, but it's fine. Nine is all we need. And then of course for the gold, we need six. So we're just gonna go ahead and craft those really quick. And we're done with that with 48 purples to spare, which we can turn into something else later. In general, you'll always need a lot of Mora and books. Uh, with 2.6 million Mora down here, that is enough. For level 80, the cost of Ascension as well as the cost of XP books comes out to a little under 1.3 million, so we're good in that department. The Mora required to get all talents to seven is a little over 700K, so I think we're still fine uh, to get her to a decent level when she comes out as far as Mora is concerned. As far as XP books are concerned, we would need the equivalent of 420 Hero's Wit. Since we only have 166 and these are a quarter as strong as Hero's Wit, we only have the equivalent of 262, so we're definitely gonna need to hit up some ley lines. So all characters need two different types of enemy drops, one from a common enemy like slimes or whopper flowers, and another from a world boss type enemy like the, you know, cubes, primo, geo, vishap, whatever. What I believe is that she's gonna actually need mats from the new world boss coming. New world boss, new area, new character coming at the same time, it just makes sense. So unfortunately we can't really prepare for that. However, they also need a different monster drop. So y'all know Shin was uh, originally from, you know, a family of exorcists. Now she is getting taught by like adeptus and stuff. And you know, just putting two and two together, I feel like it has to be Whopper Flower Nectar. I mean, if you just think about it for a second, obviously, you know, may maybe you don't get it, that's okay. Um, we all learn at our own pace. Anyway, moving on from that, we also know she's going to need some form of plant-based item. Um, all characters do alongside the, uh, you know, small monster drop, world boss drop. We do know she is a Leoe character, so obviously something from Leoe. And Chingsen, or however that is pronounced, immediately uh, jumps out to me for two reasons. The first sort of more boring one is that we just haven't had many people that need these and uh, it just makes the most sense. But two, of course, we know Shin spent a lot of her time in isolation in the uh, Leoe Mountains. And where else do you find these? Leoe Mountains, it even says right here, found in the heights of stone forests and whatever. So yeah, pretty high chance, rock solid evidence right there. And that's basically it for Ascension. Uh, 84 is not quite enough to get her to 80. We would actually need 108, so we're not too far off, but these are a little annoying to farm. How about we actually go start with a little bit of this farming stuff? We uh, are at full resin, uh, but I guess the main thing we would be spending resin on are her talent books. Who knows what she needs there? Again, since she is from Leoe, it's probably going to be a book from Leoe. You know, we've had so many Inazuma characters, so typically I would just jump to it being one of the three newer ones, but not in this case, since she is from Leoe. I definitely don't think it's gold. She doesn't seem like a very materialistic person. I was thinking diligence at first because, you know, it takes a lot of diligence to just be a normal person that get, gains the favor of adeptus, you know? I'm gonna have to go with teachings of prosperity here because if you know a little bit about her backstory, um, you, you, you know she went through some, so, some hard stuff and, you know, now she's in the land of prosperity and the, these are the books she needs, yeah. I think it's actually been a while since we uh, fought here, so need to get a little... Oh, this is a really fast one. Still relatively quick, 47 seconds, and that was a really bad run. Let's see if we can beat that. We're gonna do a couple more runs here just to uh, prepare a little bit. I'm not sure, we probably have some of these. I'm in the wrong domain, big surprise. Not that our very well thought out and reasonable explanation to why the uh, she needs these books um, has a chance at being wrong or anything. Yeah, there we go, 30 seconds. That's more like it. So how many of these do we already have? Ooh, not a lot. Nine browns and 15 silvers. We need to farm this quite a bit, actually. 29 seconds, let's go. Maybe we can even beat that. 
Still no purples, unfortunately. We're just gonna use those other two con condensed resin and then and then make some more so that I can stop looking at full resin cap. I know it probably hurts you as much as it hurts me. 28, 28, 28. Yeah, there we go. Still no purples. Not having the best uh, prosperity. <laughs> nah, that was a horrible run. Absolutely horrible. Yeah, 31 seconds. What? Oh, wow, made up for it. You, you you just gotta complain and then there you go. Dang, we will need a lot more. I should have prepared sooner, honestly, but it always feels like the new characters are coming sooner and sooner every time. Like, I, I kind of just got done with Ito and, and, and Goro and now there's more new characters in like two days. It's insane. All right, let's go ahead and make those. Nice, not at cap anymore. I guess we should continue to talk about what she needs though, and we can farm a little bit later. We're already finished with what she needs for Ascension uh, and talent books, but there's some other stuff that is required for talents. In every case, at least so far, they need the same small monster drops for their talents as they do for their Ascension, which we have so expertly deduced that it was the Whopper Flower Nectar. Actually, looking at how much we have, we're a bit low. We probably should farm some Whopper flowers, honestly. I believe you can also get it from the uh, Stardust Exchange. I don't mind using these. That's fine. I'm just not going to use my freaking Masterless anymore. Is this back already? Oh, Pog. Can get some of those uh, XP books we need as well. And the 300k more, that helps. I definitely cannot recommend uh, buying stuff here that you can just farm. Uh, but I hate farming Whopper flowers, honestly, and I have so much of this crap anyway, I'm never going to just use it on Dust of Azoth or those tin things because I'm a whale. So obviously make sure you can buy this stuff before you start buying farmable stuff here. Spectres, I'm going to buy these immediately, actually. Also, Spectres, I hate farming even more than Whopper flowers. I know you can use Yoimiya, okay? It, it's not... It's not killing them, that's the issue. They're so spread out, it's so annoying to get to them most of the time, and they drop nothing. They are especially annoying in every way possible. But yeah, I'm not gonna do this again. I think I did this while I was <laughs> trying to finish Goro. That was a big accident. We'll need these for talents and ascension. I have a neat little thing I wrote for uh, Ball and Sara way back when, where I can see what they'll need for talents to seven. And I'm pretty sure that's the same across all characters. Just of course, swapping out the mats for what she needs. In this case, instead of the samurai drops, we'll need uh, Whopper flowers, which means a total of 36 of the small ones. So yeah, so we're just gonna keep those 40. Yeah, and for the middle ones here, we'll need a total of 96, yikes. We do have 137, so we could craft a few of the big ones. Uh, we currently have 32 of those, which is actually enough already anyway, so we don't need to craft anything right now. We could get her to level 80, talent 7, uh, or 6, as I usually do for the raising portion uh, of a character showcase. So we actually would be good on Whopper Flowers, which is cool. We didn't do that many book runs, so we gotta check on that as well. Prosperity, I said it was, right? Yeah, we're pretty bad on books. We need 9 of the uh, smallest ones, so we could just do doot doot doot. Got to change from Sucrose. Well, Eula never gives me any bonus. I don't know what's up with that. We need 63 of these for talents to six. So, uh, yeah. And there is one other thing. For talents seven through 10, you do need some weekly boss materials. How they have always done it is every character released after a new weekly boss is released needs those materials. Of course, it would make sense if she needed child mats or rock frog mats, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I think she'll need one of these, which is kind of unfortunate because, yeah. So after my deep dive, I've confirmed it cannot be Molten Moment or Ashen Heart because they're all talking about fire and burning and obliterating and incinerating. However, Hellfire Butterfly does talk about ice, specifically the seal of ice. And you know, Shin is a cryo user, so... I obviously can't really prepare for this besides killing Senora every week, which I'm pretty sure I've done already. I think the main thing we're gonna be struggling with if we don't, you know, get on it fast are these uh, flowers, the the Qingxin whatever. But I'd say mostly in this area. I remember the path I used to take is always like starting here and then there, there there's like this little cluster of mountains and there are some on nearly every mountain there. Of course, it's really nice to take a Chi Chi or I think there's another Leoa character that shows where the items are, but I forgot. Maybe it's Yinfei. It is indeed. And she is obviously really helpful if you don't want to like really look at an interactive map. Uh, basically what I do is see where they're mostly clustered, put a character that can show them on the map and then just kind of 
run around and explore. She unfortunately will also show you stuff like violet grass, but yeah. Nice cluster of three up there on this little mountain. A four up here, nice. I know there are some pretty nice clusters, like if we go to this teleport waypoint, there's one really close to here, which is this. And then if you hop down in the direction of the domain, over here there's like a nice cluster of three or four. Yeah, three here. There are also a few decent clusters in this area as well, but yeah, other than that, they're all quite spread out. One thing that can help a little bit with this is, uh, Equipping the seed dispensary and uh, when you pick them up you get a seed We'll go to the serenity pot later and plant but yeah essentially a lot of running and climbing you get the idea You can at least help yourself out a little bit by uh, planting them. We probably won't need them for Three days we will be a little close honestly, but I still need to farm a lot of other stuff anyway, so so a lot more farming is required there. I'm just gonna do that off screen. Of course, I do wanna raise uh, Yunjin as well. I think for that, I'll just wait until she is released. Main priority, of course, is going to be Shin. So yeah, I guess that'll pretty much do it. Uh, I'm sure my predictions were at least kinda close, as they usually are. Uh, I have a pretty good track record for stuff like this. You know, I'm kind of a, somewhat of a genius myself. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like or subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the content is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.